Hey everyone, Joe here. So this video is a combination of some older photos I just found of a bicycle cargo trailer build I did, along with a couple sets of video footage, one of which was previously used in an older video. So I picked up an old child carrier bicycle trailer at a yard sale for a couple bucks, took it all apart and sanded down the frame and put a couple fresh coats of paint on it, and this is what we're going to use and build a cargo box for. Here I'm finishing assembly of the cargo box itself. It's all built using western red cedar. Uh, it's glued and screwed together and we're just getting it ready for a few coats of varnish that'll be coming up shortly. And this just gives you a few angles to see how it was put together. And that's got a couple coats of varnish and I think I put on about three more coats before I was finished with that part. So the trailer tongue that came with the bike wasn't going to be long enough for what I wanted. So here I am using my lathe to spin out a insert to join the, the two parts, the, the tongue and the carbon fiber extension I was using to stretch it out just a little bit longer. I want to be able to put some longer things on the box so I needed the extra clearance. Here it is with the carbon fiber tubing joined to the existing tongue and there's a wooden ferrule in the middle to keep it all together which is screwed and attached. So after getting it all put together, it was time for a test ride. Here it is in late winter and want to get a feel for how it handles, how it pulls, make sure everything's working okay. Also needed to get some weight in it, so after riding about 10 or 12 kilometers, I went over to the local grocery store, picked up a couple of cases of apple juice, something with a fair bit of weight, and rode a few more kilometers. Felt good. So far, so good. So we're ready to uh, put it to some real use here soon. So one of the things I had in mind when building this trailer is for running out my canoe and kayak paddles from the wood shop here at home out to our local FedEx center, which is a round trip of about 10 kilometers. A two-piece Greenland paddles will fit inside the box, and the longer one-piece paddles, canoe paddles, etc., those will fit up on top of the box and just strap them on. So this was one of our winter runs out to FedEx with the paddles. Next up is a short video clip Diane and I did of a run out to FedEx with the paddles. Uh, the sound quality was kind of terrible. We just did it spur of the moment using a phone, but just to give you an idea. So we're at the FedEx store and this is where we do our deliveries every day and it's a nice like 10 minute bicycle ride from our house. Here comes Joe with his homemade trailer carrying all the paddles going to three different states and there he is. It's one of our favorite places to come. The customer service is amazing. made the box specifically to fit the two piece Greenland paddles boxes inside. You probably see them right there. And then the one piece ones just sit on the top. Ouch. Another short video clip using the cargo trailer. This one I sold the office chair in my home office and the customer wanted it delivered so I thought hey might as well use the cargo trailer and go for a little spin and deliver it this way. Here we go. Okay. 
So I used this trailer off and on for about three or four years at least. Uh, it was a little heavier than I had in mind and started having some problems with the frame and one of the wheel connectors, the push pin. There was some rust. It was getting kind of old, so maybe retiring this one and building a new one. I'm thinking of doing either cedar strip construction for the trailer itself, uh, sheepskin fiberglass, or possibly something in carbon fiber. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.